Hello, my loves. How are you guys today? The Divine Feminine, I'm hearing the word calculated as I'm shuffling. So, take the hat, resonance. <laughs> okay. Alright. Hello, my loves. How are you guys today? I am here today with Divine Feminine Reading. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I missed you guys. I hope that you guys missed me as well. <laughs> so, okay, let's start. Hello, my loves. How are you guys today? I am here today with Divine Feminine Reading. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. For personal bookings, you can email me at westtsis222 at gmail.com. All right, Divine Feminine. When I was shuffling, girl, I was hearing a lot. But let's just start. Let's hop right up into it. So I think I'm going to read the Oracle message first, which I haven't read it. Also, when I was shuffling, I always heard that somebody, somebody went to the spa. Take the hat, resonates. Number eight. Yeah, they were telling me that, that someone went to the spa. I don't know what they got to do with anything. Maybe you met someone. Take the hat, resonates. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's hop into the Oracle message first, Divine Feminine. Then I'm going to tell you what I was hearing. Then I'm going to tell you the Oracle cards that I pulled. So let's start. So this is the Snow Shepherd. This Shepherd, this Shepherdness. I don't know. <laughs> Take that how it resonates. <laughs> the Snow Shepherd, this. All right. Out of apparent emptiness, something surprising and, be and beautiful is going to happen. The snow shepherdess is an omen to the most unlikely sort of success. She brings with her blessing of energy of life in the midst of what will feel more like an ending. It is triumph that happens unexpected unexpectedly after hope was lost. Feeling defeated can be painful experience for the mind. Yet if we are holding on too tightly, we can supplicate instead of of animate what we want to flourish in our world. The Snow Shepherdess brings you reassurance that it is okay to let go, to loosen your grip psychologically and emotionally, and even allow the endings to happen. Those endings are only steps towards new beginnings. Remember that nothing is beyond the power of life, not even death, for life emerges in new form again and again. Place the hope in life and shall gain blessings of healing and comfort, no matter how final things say no matter how final things may seem, love and life will prevail according to great wisdom. Is that it? Yes, okay. All right, really short, really sweet, really straight to the point. All right, Divine Feminine, as the Oracle message has said, maybe there needs to be something that needs to be let go of. Maybe you could be suffocating something. Maybe something could be suffocating you. Take this how it resonates. Job, relationship, person, place, or thing. You know how we always do it, right, Divine Feminine? So, yeah, that was the spiritual guidance message. Okay, Divine Feminine, as I was shuffling the cards, girl, and honestly, this past couple of days, I've been hearing the hardening of hearts. I don't know if you guys know this song i think i think her name is christina perry i could be wrong but it's called jar of hearts and i've been hearing that song for like the past couple of days so i guess you could go listen to that song <laughs> all right it's called jar of hearts by christina perry but what i was hearing was the hardening of hearts and that's also a, a like a symbolism of i think his name was saul I always call him Samuel, but I think his name was Saul, right? Of Saul. So, yes, the Snow Shepherdess num number eight, we read that. I told you I was hearing the hardening of hearts. What else was I hearing? I was hearing the moves like Jagger when I was shuffling. So, I don't know, maybe, you, like I said, someone out here is very calculated. I take the hat, of resumes. They got the moves like Jagger. She does have this sword in her hand. Is that a sword? It's like a sword or a stick. But she holding it like she'll stab your ass, so, you know? <laughs> I don't know. So maybe you do got the moves like Jagger Divine Feminine, but I was hearing that as well. 
What else was I hearing? Oh, I was hearing Optimus, Optimus Prime, Divine Feminine. Take the hat resonates. And you know, if you ever read the Transformers, maybe you could be transforming into something else. Like I said, Divine Feminine, you're like the you're like the shapeshifter. Um, and it's sometimes that doesn't mean negative some ways, right? Take the hat resonates. Um, but yeah, you could be a shapeshifter sometimes, Divine Feminine. You could be a, a fairy, a fucking butterfly, take how it resonates. You could be a different things, not saying creatures or whatever. But yes, um, yeah, you could be manu man maneuvering through something. Um, Optimus Prime, he was a leader of some sort. Take the how it resonates. So you could be leading something, leading, leading whatever the case could be. You could be a leader to, in your family. You could be um, breaking generational curses. Take the how it resonates. That just popped in my mind. But yeah, take the how it resonates. All right, so the cards that I got, Divine Feminine, which is kind of like a lot. We have the Anonymous card. This usually comes out when someone here is watching from the back, Divine Feminine, or someone here is watching from the sidelines, or you could be watching someone take the hat resonates, but that is the Anonymous card. Then we we always get this card, Divine Feminine, for you. That could be someone crying over you. Maybe maybe it's not crying over you, Divine Feminine. Maybe it's some things in your life that you're just not happy with, shit, right? Something that could be you're not happy with right that you could be whining over that could be you or it could definitely be like a child out here it could be a, a another individual take this out resonates but this card always comes out when i um shuffle for you it came out the last couple of readings <laughs> so yeah then we have restriction coming out divine feminine restriction usually means that you could be restricted from something or something could be restricted from you take this out resonates maybe the proper steps weren't taken like i told you king saul right i i feel like that the, his heart was hardening because he didn't take the proper steps. I recently read it over, right? So he wasn't taking the proper steps to whatever that he was trying to, you know, take authority of. Take the high resonance. So yeah, someone he could be restricted from you, Divine Feminine. You could be restricted from something, a person, a place, or a thing. Take the high resonance. Next, we got um, rumors coming out, Divine Feminine, with lurking in reverse. Then this is the knowledge, wisdom, power card coming out. I don't know. It feels like that someone out here is definitely restricted from you, Divine Feminine. This feels like that someone out here is trying to um, obtain knowledge about you. Take this out, resonates, or this is you doing this to someone else. This is like a um, he said, she said moment. But with this lurking card in reverse, like someone out here can't see for themselves. So they got to they gotta go ask somebody else. <laughs> this is what this feels like. Um, take this out, resonates, Divine Feminine. Like I said, there could be a lot of hardened hearts around you. I don't, that's what they were saying. So, take the high resonance. Next, we got, uh, today, I don't feel like doing anything coming out with Gimme, Gimme, Gimme in reverse. I don't know, when I got these two cards coming out for you, Divine Feminine, I got the burnt out energy. So, you could be burned out with something. I'm getting schoolwork, um, work in general. Take the high resonance, children, right? I'm hearing, yeah, something could be going, um, what do they call it? 360 not 180 yeah something is a 360 not a 180 and you may not be happy with that is what they're saying divine feminine take the high resonates something with blueberries someone here could be eating blueberries all right let's start divine feminine i'm gonna be using the what are these called no neo trick neo trick Feminine Tarot? Hopefully I said that right. Sorry if I didn't. <laughs> Let's start Divine Feminine. Neo Trek, um, Neo Trek Trek, I don't know. Feminine deck, I got these off Amazon, so. And I'm also going to be using my Believe Your Own Oracle cards, Believe Your Own, Believe Your Own Magic Oracle cards, and also my Gypsies, which I always use. All right, so let's clarify this anonymous card, Divine Feminine. Something with gratitude, Divine Feminine? I don't know. Show gratitude? Okay. Or someone here could be showing gratitude. Someone's birthday just passed. Isn't it? It's Virgo season, right? Yeah. Someone's birthday just passed. Clarify this anonymous card for Divine Feminine. We got the four of cups coming out. 
I don't know why this card, it gives me symbolized like keeping to yourself, Divine Feminine, Four of Cups. This was like keeping your energy to yourself for some reason. Someone out here could be doing yoga or like, you know, I'm here, I don't know why I just heard practicing a seance. I don't know why I just heard that, but okay. <laughs> but someone out here could be doing yoga or whatever. It's like to have resonate the Divine Feminine, the Four of Cups coming out here. It definitely gives me the energy of keeping, a, keeping your energy to yourself. And that came out with the anonymous card. I don't know. Be careful of jogging or being in the park divine feminine. I don't like the energy coming out with this anonymous card. This, this gives me someone watching you from the back and planning to put you in a van. I don't like that. So be careful of that. If you like you, if you like jog or you like do yoga in the park or you do something outside in the public, just be careful, divine feminine, with the four of cups out here. Put one next to this four of cups. With the world card. Yeah, the Bond Feminine, whoever that could be lurking in the background, girl, they lurking on your whole family tree. Ten of Pentacles coming out here. They could be watching your family as well. I don't like this energy, the Bond Feminine. Just be careful of this. Look at this. This was like the everyone and whoever that you're close to with the world card. Look at this big circle. This is like my great grandma, my bird <laughs> that was my pet before. Yeah, I had a, ca uh, a pet camel. It feel like people that you could be close around. I don't like how this looks at all. So just be careful of this. With this world card, that does symbolize an ending divine feminine or a new cycle. Someone, someone out here needs to um, pay, pay more attention to a mother or a grandmother out here. This person could be getting older in age with the Ten of Pentacles and a world card coming out. Yeah, something could be coming. Yeah, it could be coming to an end for this person. So just pay, pay close attention to them or continue get, getting close to them, right? Or reach out. Yeah, or reach out or something. I don't know, maybe you could live in a different city, different state from this person. But anyways, yes, let's give me more. Divine family, with this and the pinnacles out here, girl, I see everything going smooth. I see everything going well. With the Ten of Pentacles out here, or someone out here is thinking this about you, maybe you do have problems going on in the background. But if someone out here is peeping into your life, they think that you have a, um, a perfect life is what I'm getting out here. With the Ten of Pentacles coming out. Yeah, the King of Wands me first. Yeah, I don't like this. With this King of Wands me first, usually the King of Wands me first is like the, the pompous asshole, divine feminine. It's usually the person that's like, um, it could definitely be someone that you used to be with. It could be an ex or whatever the case could be. But it could definitely be someone that was either unmotivated or this could be someone that wasn't, um, they don't put in enough effort to whatever the case could be. This could definitely be someone here that you used to date or romanticized with. I'm um, definitely, because the King of Wands energy, he usually always fine or she always fine. Aries, Leo, Saturday, they're usually a good looking person. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm saying this could definitely be someone that you used to be like, you know. That was my lover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely getting that energy. Could be an ex of some sort. Let's put one on this King of Wands. Actually, let's put one on this King of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, look what came out. What is this? Yeah. This is my female whole card with the thought out here. Yeah, Divine Family is definitely someone that out here that's people in the background at your whole fucking family tree. Be careful of that. This could definitely be a slut bucket of some sort. It feels like that you're protected of some sort, though, the, though, Divine Feminine, with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles out here. It feels like, it feel like there's a lot of protection or protection around you. That's why this person is creeping in the background. Okay. Give me more. This is definitely someone that's focused on you, Divine Feminine. With the female whole card out here, with the thought card, yes, that's Karma Camellia. I'm not saying that it's a karmic individual. It could be. It could definitely be a, a someone on the karmic spectrum <laughs> that's watching you. Yeah, I'm here. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Uh, I can't get enough of what you got. Yeah. Okay. Yes, the strength card in reverse could be a Leo. 
Yeah, I'm hearing the untamed lion. He has an untamed Leo out here. Or um, Sagittarius Aries. Or someone here is doing this to a Leo, Sagittarius Aries. Take this how it resonates. What is this? Yes, Ten of Cups. You know what I was hearing the Elsa Divine Feminine? I always forget how to pronounce the word. Um... Fastitious, fastitious, fatitious, fatitious. <laughs> I was hearing fatitious. And isn't, doesn't that mean like um, something is like uh, made up? Like made up imaginary? This giving me Joe Goldberg. I don't like this energy at all, Divine Feminine. This is giving um, you, this is giving, I, I watched her in the park and then I killed her whole family because I wanted her to myself. Is this what it's giving? It's giving uh, imaginative. It's giving imaginary. As far as, 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 far as it, like um, someone's thoughts of something. Or this could just be someone that thinks that they could get you back, Divine Feminine. That could be the case. It doesn't have to be a woman that's watching. You could definitely be a man. If it's not a man, it could definitely be a woman. It really don't fucking matter. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. The strength card with the Ten of Cups out here. Like someone out here could be imagine, imagining a life with someone. But I feel like you're that divine feminine. You're you. This is you. This you right here. It's like I'm over here with my pet. I'm over here with my skunk. I'm over here with my dog. I'm over here with my with my animal, my child. You know, keep, keeping my energy to myself. And someone out here is like... I wonder how life would be with Divine Feminine. Maybe you think about this person too, Divine Feminine. I don't know. It's not given that you do, though, girl. Or boy. For some of you, you have already moved on, Divine Feminine, or someone here, someone here has already moved on with the Ten of Cups out here. But someone could still want someone. Just be careful. <laughs> Just be careful. We got the full card coming out, and this is the moon card coming out. Divine Feminine, yeah, with the full card, you know that's almost uh, always my leap of faith card. And uh, I'll, I was telling you guys recently that y'all always know when to jump. You're just, oh, okay. You guys always know when to jump. You just don't jump, like, you know, randomly and no shit like that. Every time you jump Divine Feminine, you want to make sure that you land out here. You could be keeping this to yourself as well with the moon card. There could be a big purchase, a big, a big um, home. I'm hearing a home purchase. Um, yeah, there could be a big purchase of some sort of divine feminine that you could be keeping to yourself. Or there could be something that, um, that you, yeah, because the oracle card said that there could be a blessing that could be coming. Yeah, you're going to have to keep this to yourself, divine feminine, with the moon card out here. Yeah, I'm hearing keep it on the down low. <laughs> yeah, keep it on the down low with the full card and the moon card coming out. Something also could be coming out to light out here with this moon card, divine feminine. If something is coming to light, Divine Feminine, this is something that you put behind you with the Moon card because this, this Fool card is not facing this Moon card. If something is coming to light that you suddenly um, get knowledge about or, I don't know, maybe you just don't give a fuck no more, that could be the case because it's behind you with the Moon card. Whatever is coming out is behind you where it's like, you know what, I always want the answers to that, but like it's, it's, it's too late to care about anymore, but you're still going to make the jump. You're still going to move accordingly. Yeah. With the fool card out here. Some of you could be heading into a Ten of Cups moment, Divine Feminine, actually, with this fool card, the moon card, and the Ten of Cups. And this could be something that you, you could be keeping private. This could be why someone out here is watching from afar. Yeah, because they could feel as if you moved into a Ten of Cups unit or a Ten of Cups situation with someone that you could be keeping private. Yeah, and the Ten of Pentacles. This could be coming for some of you, Divine Feminine. The Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups with the moon card. Yeah. Some of you could be getting married privately. Some of you could just be getting married, just, just the two of you, no family invited. Yeah, that's why I'm getting out here, Divine Feminine. If that's not the case, Divine Feminine, some of you um, have gathered, gathered more income. If not income, more blessings. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles out here at the Moon card. You could definitely be keeping this to yourself. This is why somebody out here in the background watching. This is why this person is looking. I still don't like it, though. <laughs> they shouldn't be looking at you, um, Divine Feminine. So, like, okay. 
Okay, thank you. They're saying that someone out here could be wondering how you got something before them. Or how you made peace with something. Four of Cups. Because this life that she's at peace with herself. She's keeping to herself. She's at peace with herself. Someone out here could be wondering how you have obtained peace with something. Have you How you have gratitude for something. How you um, maneuver some, some type of way, Divine Feminine. Take the how it resonates. I don't know why. They're saying that this is a bitch that got dumped. Whoever this is. If this is a woman and you are a woman watching Divine Feminine, this is someone that got dumped by somebody. And they're wondering, maybe you're not with the person that dumped their ass. Maybe you, I don't know. What the fuck? But <laughs> you know how that go. When you were once with somebody and then they went to somebody else. Now they watching you because they done, they done broke up. Now they, went, they, now they think they went back to you. It could be something out here like this um, Divine Feminine. This person got dumped by somebody. That's why they watch you. <laughs> because they think that this person went back to you but they haven't and they're wondering how you made peace with that yeah they're not at peace okay moving on give me two cards give me two cards for anonymous please okay that's a lot of cards Yeah, I'm hearing they're not you. Yeah, so your outcome isn't their outcome. Yeah. If this was somebody that thought they was better than you because they had a dude or whatever, if not even just a dude, maybe they had more than you. I don't know. Shit. Your outcome is not their outcome. So maybe, they, maybe, maybe they'll never, never make peace with the shit. <laughs> right? Maybe they'll never make peace with that shit, but that's on them. Um, yeah, we have raindrops coming out. It says, take a chance on them. And then we have voyage coming out. It says, you already have all the answers. Yes, Divine Feminine. I told you that something comes to light. I feel like it's, look, it's, look. It feel like this is behind here. It's, it feel like that's something that you always want the answers to. It's behind you now, though. It feel like that you don't, oh. look. And it says, take a chance on them. I don't know, Divine Feminine. Maybe you do like the person that's watching you from afar. Maybe y'all playing a game. Look, I don't know. Because <laughs> it says take a chance on them. Maybe you like maybe you like them watching you from afar. Look, look. Maybe she outside on purpose. Look at the smile on her face. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you outside on purpose, girl. Like, yeah, I know he gonna be watching. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. Maybe this is the person. <laughs> Or maybe not. If not, be careful. Always keep your mace. Always keep your taser. Always keep a pocket knife. Be careful. If not. Give me one more card, please. Okay, we got two coming out. It says, Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. And it says, Storms, every hurricane comes to an end. Yeah, Divine Friend, I told you that, that your outcome and their outcome is completely different. Look, at, it's the it's basically the same shit, just two different sets. One is Sunny with Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. She's peaceful with the outcome right here, right? And it's, look, it's literally the same card. <laughs> <laughs> literally and this one says voyage you have already have all the answers yeah it could definitely be someone watching you from a far divine from there that wants some lessons or some guidance it could be someone out here like that that's like you know what divine feminine the real divine feminine really got that shit figured out <laughs> yeah like bitch i've got my crown i've dodged my bullet toe <laughs> yeah with the storm coming out here every hurricane comes to an end it looks like she's unfazed. Yeah, some of y'all unfazed with something, some memo, some some status. Yeah, some relationship status or someone else's. You really don't give a fuck. Is what I'm getting out here, Divine Feminine. Yeah. <laughs> they say even if you did care, it wouldn't have anything to do with you. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it don't earn you no points. Yeah, that's what, yeah. <laughs> that's what they're saying, Divine Feminine. Um, it don't earn you no points, whatever that this knowing is now. Maybe in the past it would have, but now it doesn't. All right, let's move on. 
Let's clarify this person crying or when, 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 bitch, on the baby. Maybe it's not a person crying. Let's see. This card literally always comes out for you, Divine Feminine. Literally always. Clarify the person crying, please. Thank you. We got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Okay. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Five of Swords in reverse coming out. With the Ace of Wands in reverse coming out. With Five of Swords in reverse coming out, that's like argumentative energy. But also, it could be a, um, I don't know, when I pulled it, I heard Truth Teller. Because usually, if it was in, the, in an upright, like this could be someone scheming, lying, being sneaky, right? Deceptive behind someone's back. But would it be in reverse? It's giving me Truth Teller with the Ace of Wands reverse. Nine of Swords with the Justice card. Someone out here is scared that the truth is going to come out. Um, Nine of Swords with the Justice card in reverse coming out here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. With this Five of Swords, maybe, yeah. Divide from the deck of the... <laughs> I'm going to say intimidated. I don't want to say scared. There could definitely be someone out here that's intimidated by you because you are on the throne. Queen of Swords coming out here. And I feel like you're that you're not moving. Yeah, moves like Jagger. Calculated. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Divine Feminine. I told you like she'll shank you. It look like you'll shank somebody, Divine Feminine. If this is you, girl, it look like that you'll shank somebody. Um, Yes, she'll shank you. I feel like you're with the moves like Jagger, Divine Feminine. Um, it feels like here that, uh, you're not coming up off your throne. You're not moving with the Queen of Swords, with the Five of Swords in reverse. You'll make someone tell the motherfucking truth out here with the Five of Swords in reverse. I heard, I heard truth teller. I don't know why I just, yeah, Wonder Woman. I don't know why I'm getting all these. I don't know why I get all these. But if you know Wonder Woman, she has that truth teller lasso. I watch a lot of movies. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Divine Feminine. Um, I was definitely getting that. But uh, you'll make someone tell the truth out here, Divine Feminine. It feels like here that the Divine Feminine, um, justice is on your side. And this could be the reason why someone out here could be frightened. Um, I'm hearing spooked. Take the hat resonates. Frightened, spooked, or intimidated. Because justice is on, is on your side. Divine timing is on your side. Nine of Swords with the Justice card coming out here in reverse. Mmm, okay. Pull on the Nine of Swords with the Justice card in reverse. This is my lady. This is my bed's wedding card. This is my bed's day card. And this is um, my spiritual courthouse card. Yes, I told you. Justice is on your side. Divine timing is on your side. Um, this is my spiritual courthouse card. Well, all the spirit guides, God himself, you know, ancestors go to go to determine someone's faith. I told you, you um, their outcome is not your outcome. So somebody out here thought that they were, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they thought. <laughs> um, they outcome not, it ain't going to be the same outcome. I feel like yeah, that you are under, I'm, I don't know, I'm getting like a golden rim. Sometimes they just, they just visually show me things, and I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> right? Sorry. It's the Ace of Swords reverse coming out. Yeah, it's definitely just intimidation, Divine Feminine, is what I'm getting. But these could be the hardening, yeah, look, the devil card. The hardened hearts around you. I told you, I was hearing that. Um, hardened hearts. Hardened hearts around you. I told you that um, something they weren't doing correctly or they were doing incorrectly that made, them, that, that made their heart hardened. So maybe they had the wrong moves when it came towards you, Divine Feminine. Like, no, bitch, you were pulling the, this is the wrong one, right? And it's like, no, you don't do that. Spiritual courthouse. Whatever the fuck they did, I don't know. Uh, shit, it fell. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah. 
y'all. Somebody out here is doing magic. Because they're saying jar of hearts. I told y'all that song by Christina Peer. I think I said it. It was a while ago, but I think I said it. Um, if you heard that song, she says, Who do you think you are? Running around leaving scars, collecting your jar of hearts, tearing love apart. So she literally says that in that song. So I don't know, there's someone out here that was doing something that was like, you know, not on God's watch, bitch. It could be something as far as in that divine feminine. And I don't know, with the Queen of Pentacles out here, maybe you're the one to put fear in this bitch. Because you actually have God's heart. It feels like something out here, divine feminine, where someone, somebody out here about to, uh... They're coming to collect Knight of Swords. Basically, look how he's swinging his sword. Yes. Whoever the fuck out here was doing magic, or like I said, jar of hearts, I don't know, putting people in jars and shit, dirt magic and all this other shit, divine feminine, they're coming to collect. Knight of Swords coming out. They're, they're repeating that song to me. Who do you think you are running around leaving scars, collecting your jar of hearts? This could be someone out here that was jealous of some love offer that someone here got to someone else. Like I told you, it could be someone out here that was uh, watching you, wondering how you overcame something because that shit happened to them as well. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, eight of wands. <laughs> Somebody out here is frightened. They're scared. The nine of swords. The nine of swords is usually anxiety. Anxiety, nightmares, frightened. And if you read the Saul story, he needed music to cure his hardened heart. I think I who I think it was David. David used to come play music for him. The harp. This was this is like a harp, right? I think it was the harp. Don't quote me. Um, the harp, I believe. He used to play music for him on the harp. Yeah. It's a hardened heart out here. And I, I don't, not sure, but I believe Saul landed on his own sword. I believe so. Something is going to backfire on someone. This why this person crying. This why this person scared. This why this, this why this person spooked. This why they got anxiety. Hopefully they ain't do shit to you, divine from because if they did shit to you, motherfuckers is coming to collect. Yeah, they're going to try to cover this shit up too. Three of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles coming out. And hold on to whatever they're coming to collect. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to try to cover it up. Look at the Three of Pentacles. They may have someone help them cover this shit up or try to. This could be a group of people, a group of, uh, of foes. Yeah. it was, The female whole card was out here. It could be a group of foes or something, Divine Feminine. If they did something to you or they were going against you or they was trying to, um, I'm hearing incriminate, I don't know, incriminate you, Divine Feminine, um, they're coming to collect. And by them, I mean them peoples, the priest. <laughs> yeah. Three of Pentacles coming out with the Four of Pentacles. And they're going to try to hold on to whatever the fuck they got left with the Four of Pentacles got coming out here. As Saul did. If you know the story of King Saul. I believe Saul knew that David was next in line. Yeah, look, death card. What did the oracle message say? It said, even in death, there is a new beginning. Wait, let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. What the, oh, look, it opened right up. That's crazy. It said, hold on. Those endings are only steps towards new beginnings. It's over for somebody. <laughs> death card. <laughs> yes. Uh, Scorpio energy. It could be you, Divine Feminine. Well, if this is going on, maybe not. If you both put the motherfuckers in jars, maybe not. Right, Divine Feminine? Or whatever the fuck. Or running around leaving scars and collecting jars of hearts. Maybe not, Divine Feminine. Um, but if someone out here was doing this to you, it's about to be over. Because they're coming to collect whoever the fuck this is. With the death card coming out here. All right, moving on. <laughs> this what? With the eight of wands out here, with the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles. I want to actually pull on that four of pentacles. Let's see first. Okay. Pull on this four of pentacles. Oh, a lot came out. 
This is Scholar Gift coming out with the Journey coming out. Yeah, after there is a death, there is a new beginning divine coming in. With this uh, world card up, up here, and it's in the pinnacles, I told you, some of y'all is moving on to the left, to the left. Yes. With the Journey out here. Mm-hmm. This could be someone that was on their journey. Take this how it resonates as well. With the three of pentacles coming out here. The eight of wands could also be communication divine from out here with scholar. Some of you could be getting a communication from the higher ups divine from with this scholar card out here and this um, priest card out here. And my lady. Yeah, some of y'all could have been bedridden. If not bedridden, just resting. Take that how it resonates. You could have been resting. Yeah, eight of wands out here. This could also be spiritual downloads as well, Divine Feminine, with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they're also saying this could be the reason why you're going to need spiritual downloads, because someone out here is spiraling. If someone out here is spiraling, Divine Feminine, you know this person personally. If you know that someone out here is out, out here looking like this, with the crybaby face, you know this person personally. Like, you've communicated with this person, maybe even dated this person. This could be a cousin. This could be a foe. This could be an ex-friend. Take like this how it resonates. If they're spiraling down or downward or, they're, or if they have anxiety about some shit or they're trying to cover something up, you know this person personally. You may not be fucking with this person if you know them personally as well because you're not getting off your throne, Queen of Pentacles. If you don't know this person personally, Divine Feminine, when it comes to them spiraling, right? You don't know them, you're still not getting the fuck up off your throne. I feel like if you don't know this person, this kind of don't got shit to do with you. Yeah, it don't, it don't get you no cool points. <laughs> yeah. Um, they were going down anyway, Divine Feminine, especially if you, um, I don't know why they keep showing me like this golden fucking light. I don't know. They keep showing me it. It matches this. This has like a golden tone to it. I don't know if you guys see that, but yeah. The line from the be careful of everything not being able to come with this um, journey card and this four of pentacles because she's holding on to whatever whatever these pentacles are. This could be holding on to the past. This could be holding on to something forbidden. I don't know. Take the hat resonates. Holding on to something forbidden, something from your past, a person, a place, or a thing, a job. Take this how it resonates, right? Yeah, you're ready for the next outcome. I'm hearing what's new. All right, yeah, okay. Look, the merchant. What's this? This is Lord and Fortune. Mm -hmm. They're facing two different opposite ways coming out. Yeah, there's two different people here. There's somebody out here that's going through some anxiety, some turmoil, even probably even something even deeper than that, right? Take the how it resonates. Um, this could be the hardened heart around you, Divine Feminine. I don't feel like that you're on this person's side. Yes, yeah, sword, make that change. This says escape is come to come home to yourself. Divine from they could they could us uh, sorry can't talk. There could definitely be a situation out here, Divine from where you do have to make a change. And if you don't make a change, this Ace of Wands isn't gonna go because this Ace of Wands is in reverse. So it's like if you don't make a change, Divine from take this out regarding into your life, right? As listening, if there is something that you need to change, um, transform into, um, maneuver into, um, be very calculated for, make that change. If not, this Ace of Wands in reverse isn't going to move into the upright. So be aware of that. Also, don't be foolish out here and land on your own sword with this Knight of Swords out here. I don't like how he's swinging that sword all willy-nilly like he can't fall on that motherfucker. Um, don't be foolish out here, um, Divine Feminine. With this escapist card, come home to yourself. Divine Feminine, maybe if you have been stagnant on your journey, take this how it resonates, right? Because maybe for some of y'all, this could be you, <laughs> right? If not, if this not you, somebody out here is, um, I don't know, they in for some shit. Because, I don't know. But anyways, but if this is you, Divine Feminine, where it feels like it, that you could have been stagnant, you could have been, um, I don't know why, I don't know. 
they said less fortunate. I really don't want to say that, but less fortunate in a way, Divine Feminine, come home to yourself. Um, you do have magic within you, Divine Feminine, with the four pinnacles at hand, the three pinnacles. They're saying to continue on your pathway, Divine Feminine, if you have been stagnant, right? Or even if you just left a, um, a tower moment, right? Even if you just left a tower moment or you have been stagnant, Divine Feminine, take this how it resonates. To continue, you might have to sacrifice something, right? Yeah, they're saying don't hold it too close to your chest. Whatever it is for you, Divine Feminine. Don't hold it too close to your chest. All right. Give me one more card for Divine Feminine. This is expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Yes, Divine Feminine. This could also be a person out here that was mocking. I've been picking up on a lot of that energy as well, Divine Feminine. If somebody out here was mocking God or acting as if they, they are God out here, Divine Feminine, those people are in for some shit too. I don't want to say that word on here, but it starts with an N and it ends with an I. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know why they said that, but yeah. Divine Feminine. With expectations out here. Yeah, they're out. These people that do these things, Divine Feminine, and then come for, um, come for or try to antagonize people that do it the right way or the willing way or whatever the case, the, um, what do they call it? I don't know. Scratch that. But, um, yes, Divine Feminine, with expectations out here. It's not going to end the way they think, it, they, they think it's going to end with this card coming out here. Yeah, they said the people that cheat, <laughs> the people that cheat behind the scenes, Divine Feminine, that's the only way they're going to they're gonna win, if they cheat. The only way that you're going to beat me is if you cheat. This this is what this is given, Divine Feminine. These are people that are trying to beat you. They're trying to beat you at some game, at some some whatever the fuck, right? They're trying to beat you at whatever the fuck, whatever the fucking fictitious fucking thing they had in their motherfucking mind when it came, when it came towards you, Divine Feminine. They were trying to beat you at that, at that but they... That's the only way they'll win, if they'll cheat. And sometimes, even if they cheat, they still lose. Okay. Well, anyways. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's go to restriction. Clarify restriction for Divine Feminine. Someone's name could be Caleb. Clarify restriction, please, for divine feminine someone rising in Venus. Clarify restriction, please, for divine feminine someone rising in Venus. Thank you. We have the will of fortune coming out. Yeah. I don't know why this energy is giving me the blessings being poured down. I told you, I keep seeing some gold as light that's like overshadowing someone. And I, I, like, well, is it overshadowing? Whatever. I keep seeing some golden light looking down on someone. And I, I, I don't know why I keep seeing that divine from it, but it's giving me the energy that you have been, um, blessed with this. You could be getting your blessings divine from it with this higher fin card out here for moving the correct way, for moving the willing way. For moving the honest way with the Queen of Swords universe, with the Lovers card universe. Some of you are heading towards love, and someone else out here isn't. <laughs> I don't know what to say for that person that isn't, but um, I don't know. This could definitely be someone that was trying to keep love from you or from other individuals. Take this how it resonates with the Lovers card coming out here in reverse. Could be a Gemini. If not a Gemini, you could be a Gemini. Yeah, with this restricted card out here. 
Yeah, someone out here is restricted from getting the blessings, and someone out here is also restricted from love. So take that how it resonates. This could definitely be someone out here that wasn't honest, Divine Feminine, either not honest with you, or they weren't honest with the way that they got something. Rather, they got something from you or from someone else, or I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting um the, what was it? I'm getting a mongoose and like the, the snake. What was that um, book called? Ricky Ticky Tabby. Yeah, Ricky Ticky Tabby. I think that was what it was called. But I'm getting that energy divine pyramid out here when a mongoose wins over the snake. So now here is a slithery, a slithery snake out here, divine pyramid. I don't know why they're naming it that like that. But it's a fucking sl a slithery snake out here, divine pyramid. And this slithery uh, snake, it's not going to end how they, how they think um, it's going to end. If you ever read the story, Ricky Ticky Tabby, um, that mongoose killed the fuck out that snake. <laughs> yeah. Um, with the Queen of Swords universe and the Lovers card universe. Definitely. It's two different people out here. One is a Wheel of Fortune with the higher friend. The other one is a Queen of Swords reverse with the Lovers reverse. It's definitely a competitor, out, a competitor out here, Divine Feminine, when it comes to you or regarding you. We got the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Give me more for the Restriction card, Divine Feminine. Give me more for the Restriction card for Divine Feminine, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus with the Five of Wands. I told you, look at this. Five of wands, two of wands. It's two different energies out here. As, when I say out here, I don't necessarily mean out here, but I'm definitely picking up on someone out here, divine friend that uh, got the short end of the, of the motherfucking stick, thinking they were so motherfucking smart out here. That's why I'm definitely getting out here with the five of wands and the two of swords out here. The two of swords could also be making a making a decision with the five of wands out here. It could be a decision about about something combative. Take the hat resonates. The five of wands is usually a, a combative card. Restriction, yeah, put this motherfucker on mute, on block, restrict, restriction, some way, some shape, or form. Put on the five monsters, the two of swords. Yeah, look what's coming. What the fuck? With enemy, I told you it's a competitor. A competitor. Look with that. Look that death card coming back out again, y'all. With death out here. <clears throat> It's gonna be over for whoever I'm here annihilate it. It's gonna be over for whoever that whoever that this individual is. Five of Wands with the Two of Swords out here. Them boys is coming. And you know what I mean? Them boys, the spiritual courthouse. Them goons. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Take this how it resonates. Um, but yes, with the five of wands out here and the two of swords. The enemy card out here with the death card. You know, that's always um, sig signifies Scorpio energy. It's definitely someone out here, Divine Friend, that sought you out as an enemy. Or you sought this person out. Take this how it resonates. Um, but this dog is restricted. So, I don't know what this person was thinking, what they thought, whatever the case could be. But they're about to be stopped or they're about to be stagnant. Take this how it resonates. I don't know who this is. It better not be Karma Camellia. It could be a love interest, Divine Feminine. Or a lover. Ex-lover, take this out of resonance. It could be. Give me more for restriction, please, for Divine Feminine. We got the High Priestess in Reverse coming out with the Six of Swords in Reverse coming out with the Page of Swords. With the high priest in reverse coming out, the six the six swords usually signifies not leave, not leaving something mentally. So this could be some someone that's stuck on something, someone that's stuck on the past, stuck on the saying, stuck on the word. Take this how it resonates with the six of swords in reverse coming out here. This feels like always the villain in someone's story. Look at this with the page of swords coming out. I don't know, y'all. This definitely feels like uh, because these cards they're kind of cartoonish, <laughs> right? So when I get a, like a deck of cartoonish cards, it always signifies to me something of like you know a movie I watched or like some Disney shit. I don't know, but it does. This feels like the villain. This feels like someone out here that was like you know I'm okay with be being the villain. This comes to an end. Six of Swords reverse coming out. Hopefully this isn't you, Divine Feminine. I don't think that this is you. Let's see. Let 
Give me some for restriction, please. I'm getting bored talking about the bitch. <laughs> so I hope it's not you. <laughs> yes, look. I was just going to say this. Throne. I was like, no. I look back at that Queen of Pentacles. I'm like, this can't be Divine Feminine. Because in this higher friend card, in this Queen of Pentacles card, they're on the fucking throne. This isn't you, Divine Feminine, with the throne card coming out. It says your, pot your potential is endless. No, I'm going to stay on the throne. I'm going to stay here. I don't know what the fuck that bitch got going on. Um, can she be escorted out? That's why, yeah, restriction. I told you, block, delete it, mute. <laughs> yeah, restriction, divine feminine. Shit, if it's not block, delete it, and mute, it's like, um, it's pointless, you're worthless. Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to the universe. I'll let the universe handle it. <clears throat> if, like, you put a, if, if, if yeah. With the universe, we're all just stardust. Yes. This was like a bitch that's like, you know, she telling you, you know, she'll go one up with you, divine feminine. You're like, bitch, I'm not getting off my throne, ho. So you'll go one up with my security guards, bitch, but not me. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is what it feels like, divine feminine, with the universe coming out here. I'll let them handle you. Yeah, with tree coming out. It says, let them go. I told you, this is definitely someone that was stalking your whole family tree, divine feminine. It's, look, didn't I just say this? This is fucking crazy. I just said this. I said this is someone that's okay with being the villain in everyone's story. Villain literally came out. Villain, you could always rewrite the story. Yes. Yes. This one, this person is intimidated by you, Divine Feminine, because you could always rewrite the fucking story. This is someone that's a villain, and everyone's fucking story, and everyone's narrative, or this person always up to no good, or some shit, uh, some nature, Divine Feminine. Take that how it resonates. And then it says villain. You could always re rewrite the story. Yeah, my bitch, I'm not, I'm not gonna give you no energy, no clout. This one, <laughs> this one will feel like Divine Feminine. Or even if you did get this person energy or clout, whatever the case could be, it's like, well, bitch... Um, they're going to be restricted some way, some shape, some form. Take this how it resonates, Divine Feminine. This person is a loser. Okay, let's move on. Look at the bottom of the deck, the tower card. Mm -hmm, it all comes crashing down. What can be 52 minutes in? All right, let's move on. What's this? Look at this. The Ten of Swords. Mm. All right, next we have coming out Divine Feminine. This, that, he say, she say shit. When someone out here can't lurk. I told you that you could have blocked somebody, muted somebody, deleted somebody. I don't know. Take that how it resonates. With wisdom, knowledge, and power out here. What he say, she say, and lurking in reverse. I told you this was giving me the energy that someone out here can't see what you have going on. Because you either could have blocked them, muted them. Um, shit, came up off social media. Stay low-key. Like I said, it could be private with something divine. I'm going to take it how it resonates. This is someone here that does not have access access to you in some way. So they go ask around about, ask other people about you. <clears throat> Take the how it resonates. They go around asking about you or go around trying to figure out information about you. Because usually a bo books mean studying, right? So yeah, take the how it resonates. This is the Seven of Swords universe coming out. Is it? Yeah, Seven of Swords universe coming out. All right. Clarify this person asking around about Divine Feminine, please. Who is this individual that's gathering information about Divine Feminine, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm sorry if I got quiet. I'm thinking about something, y'all. <laughs> Give me some information about Divine Feminine, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who is the individual that's lurking and gathering about Divine Feminine, please? 
What is this knowledge, wisdom, and power that you have for the divine feminine, please? Ooh, the Eight of Pentacles came out with the Seven of Cups in reverse coming out. The Seven of Cups in reverse usually means like, um, something, well, I don't want to say come, something coming to an end, but it's like, um, I would say a goal not being met. Because usually the Seven of Cups is like, you know, wanting to manifest something. When it comes out in reverse, I say it's a goal not being met. So yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles coming out here, Divine Feminine, there might be a goal that you did not did not meet or reach or some way, some shape or form. Maybe you were studying for this. Maybe you hope, hope was hoping to get a better grade on this. Take it how it resonates. Also, like I said, this could be something fictitious, Divine Feminine, coming to an end. Um, someone out here, imaginative tale about you. This could be someone out here that's gossiping, spreading rumors, whatever the case could be. There could be someone working on your end to make this come to an end. This could be spirit guides, ancestors. This could either be a person on earth, right? Take it how it resonates. <clears throat> I'm here. There is a solid friend out here. There is, someone has a friend that's very solid. I don't know what that means. As far as in like, you know, they're very, uh, they're a good friend. I'm hearing that. Yeah. So, if you're, yeah, there could be a rumor or something, Divine Feminine. If you're thinking like it's like a best friend of yours, this person did not tell um, this rumor or this knowledge about you or whoever the fuck else. They, it wasn't them. Seven of Cups from Reverse is what I'm getting out here. Yeah, if you're surprised, yeah, I told you it could be something that's coming out divine from that you probably, you possibly don't give a fuck about, or it could be something else that's like, you know, who the fuck told John John, right? It could be something like that. Um, it wasn't this person. Yeah, tower. Yeah, it's something related to some tower energy. Yeah, it wasn't this person. If you have like a solid best friend out here, or you and this per person spend a lot of time together. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Divine Feminine. It's either you're working or someone else here is working on some type of reputation that you hold. It could be someone out here that adores you, though, Divine It could be someone out here that's defending you, sticking up for you. Take this how it resonates. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, work they're, working, they're working on the back end of for you. Ace of Cups out here with the Eight of Pentacles coming out here. You could be unaware of this, Divine Feminine. Okay. Divine Feminine, they're saying that there's definitely some, um, ow. There's definitely some, something, something that need, you need to keep private. As far as a blessing with this Ace of Cups, look at that dove. There's definitely some blessing, some, um, occurrence that you have with, I don't know. Could be with a, 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 a spirit guy, ancestor. If that's not the case, it could be a blessing from one of, one of them. Um, yeah, something something that just lands right in your hands. Um, you need to be quiet about this. Look at this Ace of Cups. It's right in her hands. You need to be silent about this, quiet about this. This could be wisdom. This could be knowledge. This could be something physical. Right? Take it how it resonates. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse coming out. This Six of Pentacles in reverse equals up to not giving. Yeah, don't give. Yeah, star card. Not giving any information. Not, well, divine feminine, be careful. If you have something to express to someone, that's okay to do that. If this is like regarding something romantic, that's okay to do that. If you have something, something to express to someone with this Ace of, uh, sorry, Ace of Cups overflowing, right? Now, with the Six of Pentacles reverse coming out, that's like not giving, right? Um, I would say be careful of an Earth Angel with the Star card in reverse. Um, th those uh, happen all the time. Those are always a test. Um, if, you, in, if you know anything about Earth Angels, th those are the people that come and ask for your kindness. And it's like a test. So, yeah, be, care be careful of an Earth Angel at your lowest point or at your... Um, at your, I'm hearing at your downest moment. I don't know what that is for you, Divine Feminine. But be careful of an earth angel of not passing this test of gratitude. Okay? 
Also, Divine Feminine, with this Six of Pentacles in reverse, like I said, it's like not giving something. So not giving love, empathy, sympathy. Take the how it resonates. Be careful of that as well, Divine Feminine, with the Star card in reverse. I told you, Divine Femina, you may not reach a goal on something. So I don't know what this goal is. Because I feel like that this Seven of Cups universe and this Star Card universe is like disappointment. Yeah, the Tower Card coming out in reverse. It could also be not healing Divine Feminine. So be careful of that as, as well. Be careful of moving on to a new chapter or the, or the next chapter and you're not healed yet. Or thinking that you deserve something, you're not healed yet. With knowledge, wisdom, and power out here. Yeah, with the Six of Cups universe with the Chariot card out here. The Six of Cups universe could also um, signify, you know, not ha like I said, sympathy, empathy. Take the hair, I just named all those things. Um, cups are usually emotion. Cancerian card, that's usually emotion. You know, cancers are very, um, they're very home-driven, right? I told you, some of y'all need to go check on y'all papa, y'all mama, y'all grandma, something of that nature. Something we look at the bottom of the deck, old woman. Yeah. Some of y'all need to check on, check on this person. Pull on the Six of Cups. Thank you. We got cheerfulness coming out. And this is house coming out. I told y'all something. Y'all get a big purchase or something. A new home, new car, whatever the case could be. You need to keep it a secret because this person is in the back. Look at this person. <clears throat> They're literally in the back waiting for your big your big purchase. Um, yeah, be careful. That's why, that's why you need to keep it a secret. It's some snakes in the grass with a bullet up their ass. It is divine for me when it comes towards you. Yeah, with sorrow. I don't know. Maybe God telling you not to hurt these people's feelings. I don't know. Let's see. Put on this tarot card in reverse. What is this tarot card in reverse? Ooh, two came out. We got lover with wife coming out. Mm, yeah. Something. I don't know. Divine feminine. Regarding, I don't know. Regarding love, divine feminine, there could definitely be some man that's wondering about you, girl. He asking around about you and everything, girl. Like I said, that's why I, that's that's where I was picking up on that solid friend from. Because there's a solid friend out here that's keeping you protected from this guy. Or there's some friend out here that's like not telling your business to this dude. Take it how it resonates. Right? She a solid friend. Because this man could be asking this friend about you. I don't know who that's for or why, why I'm picking that up. But yeah. Take the how it resonates. Some of y'all are working to get away from some man. If not trying to get away from this man, you and this man had just been have just been separated. Y'all could share a child together. Take the how it resonates. Right? Yeah, I'm here. I still think about you. Yeah, some man still think about you, girl. Yeah, y'all definitely separated. Yeah, with falseness. This could be a liar, cheater, sneaker, thief. It could definitely be an ex of some sort. An old divine masculine or an old karmic masculine. Yeah, because you you the empress. <laughs> yeah, that's why he asking about you, because you're the empress. Like I said, maybe you like that shit, Devon. I told you. Some of y'all like that. Some of y'all go outside on purpose and sit in the grass because, you know, he, he you know he going to be watching. You know he going to be asking about you. You know he going to be watching. You know he going to be lurking on your page or lurking, lurking around the corner. I don't know. Some of y'all like that shit. So you like that? This man asking. He is. He lurking. He watching. He is. Give me three cards for knowledge, wisdom, and power. With lurking and reverse coming out. It says lighthouse. Don't doubt your worth, divine feminine. And it says tower. Unplug and relax for a spell. And it says gray. Endings are inevitable. And it says storms. Weave together the crowns you deserve. 
So yeah, for some of y'all, some person that well, some man, some man or some woman, some love interest, divine feminine that's um watching you from afar or or asking about you from afar. Um, maybe this person has not healed yet. I feel like that you need to take time away from this person in all honesty with the thorns out here. Maybe this person wasn't treating you right before. So to take some time away, think about it, right, the divine feminine, and then, you know, see if you should head down that road. For some of y'all, if it's not towards a relationship, divine feminine, if it's strictly towards your, um, wisdom, your knowledge, your power, um, like the oracle message has said, the oracle card has said, it's okay to let something go. I do feel like that, that for some of you, you are holding on to something a person a place or a thing right rather it's something small to something big i always tell y'all that something small to something big it don't matter what the fuck it is it could be your favorite your favorite pair of motherfucking true religion jeans it's time to let the motherfuckers go they worn and done right they worn and done and it's okay to let those go Right? It says, weave together the crown that you deserve. The tower card, a plug for a spell. Um, endings are inedible. Yeah. Some of you have been relaxing, and that's a good thing. That's why you have been getting so many so many spiritual downloads. Because you have been relaxing. You haven't taken the time out to um, get into oneself, Divine Feminine. Um, that's why we've seen that Journey card and that Hierophant card out there. Well, I think it, I think it had came out with the, um, the bedsit card or the bedridden card. I think that's what I came out with. Um, but yeah, it also says lighthouse out here. I am always enough. And it says, know your worth. Divine Feminine, since you do know your worth and since you do know what's for you and not for you, it feel like here that the people with the hardened hearts, they are like fucking nets. They're like fucking flies, fruit flies at that, um, Divine Feminine. It feels like here that you're, you're attracting people that, um, could be either intimidated by the way that you carry yourself, if not carry yourself, how you um, maneuver through things. I feel like I said, you're very calculated. Calculated, um, moves like Jagger, whatever the case could be. If someone out here was trying to intimidate you or stop that or get you get in between you and your you and your connection with the Most High and, and with God, this person's time has come to an end. Um, and it's not because, well, I feel like it is because thorns yeah because wasn't Saul trying to kill David I think he was I believe he was um Saul was trying to kill kill David and Saul already had a a signature seat on the throne like he already had one with his name imprinted into that motherfucker so that was a bad idea on um on Saul's part right so yeah divine feminine I'm gonna end it right there guys my throat hurts. I got a little cold, so I'm going to end it right there so I don't stress my throat. <laughs> I did have one, one more section, but I don't want to stress my throat. Um, Yes, the last card at the bottom of the deck is the Empress card with the Temperance card coming after that. So, yes, Divine Feminine. Like I said, I'm going to end it there. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading, Divine Feminine. When they, when they, when they come against you, Divine Feminine, I don't know what the fuck. It feel like a, it just... It, it, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. It feels like um, it's a personal issue for a lot of people, but it, I guess I guess it's great knowing, right? Um, this video was good. I really enjoyed it. Like, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for personal bookings. You can e email me at westtsis222 at gmail.com. I love you guys a lot. Bye.